All the way from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like All the way from the start Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I've got a new video where we're going to talk about acoustic treatment for home studios, project studios. Those of you who are recording, mixing, mastering, producing in your own personal space, in your bedroom or your home, I'm going to show you some really cool materials that can be used to give you a much better acoustic environment. A lot of these are very affordable. You can make some of these yourself. So I'm going to talk about some hacks for that and uh, using all these things in combination you can get some amazing results and never have to leave your home or your project studio so let's dive in the first material that i have to show you is just what's called egg crate foam now you buy this in sheets and it's very affordable i think i got this off of like ebay but uh, there's online sellers who create this a lot of websites you can also pick it up locally and what you can do is just cut it up into the pieces that you need i have some hung i've put some in closets before i've actually covered uh, walls from floor to ceiling with this in some spaces that i've worked in in the past it's very effective at reducing flutter and echo so if you're doing a lot of recording it's definitely going to help you the one thing that i would caution you about is in terms of hanging this stuff it can be really messy so they recommend to just glue it and just glue it up on the the wall or the ceiling i would not recommend this i did this again many 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 years ago and when you have to pull it down it's not so pretty i actually had to sand the walls and uh, it was a lot of headache to get this stuff off so i would recommend you know, doing some some kind of option like maybe Velcro or double-sided tape. You can even, you know, kind of nail this, put some hooks in it, and it's better to have a hole in the wall than to glue it and have to take this stuff down. But again, very effective in treating, you know, initial reflections and flutter, especially for recording. All right, so next up are acoustic panels and bass traps. So you're gonna see that uh, this is a bass trap. And really the difference that uh, there is between acoustic panels and bass traps, it really is more about the depth, how deep this uh, panel is. And also just the materials that are in here, some of them are actually better at absorbing different types of frequencies, not just bass or high frequencies. So uh, this one right here, again, a little thicker, and I hang these in the corners because that's usually where the bass builds up. And then you're gonna see that these panels behind me these are more just traditional acoustic panels and they uh, are not gonna absorb as much low frequency information, but very, very effective in absorbing just flutter and echo. There are a number of different online retailers that sell these. And again, you're gonna pay more, you do get better quality, uh, but I'm gonna give you a little hack. You can build these yourself and all you need to do is go down to the hardware store, pick up some, uh, you know, cheap wood, MDF wood, and you can actually just frame these out and then they're filled with a certain type of mineral wool and that will absorb a lot of that sound information and then you just cover it with a fabric and uh, then you just put some eyeball hooks. I'll show you some uh, closer pictures of these here, but you just put eyeball uh, hooks here and then you can just hang them up on the wall like a picture frame. And I like these because again, they're they're movable, so it's not permanent. It's not like gluing a piece of foam to the wall. And they're very, very effective. And they also look good. They look a lot more professional. Uh, so again, you can build these yourself. If you're comfortable with a little bit of carpentry, you can save a lot of money that way. But uh, there's also online retailers. I'll put some links to some of those below. This is not a sponsored video, but I will put a couple of suggestions. All right, so next up on the list of acoustic treatment options for your home studios, project studios, is a microphone reflection filter, which is what this is right here. This is one that is manufactured by SC Electronics. It's called the RFX. And again, it's just a circular piece of like composite plastic. And then it has some foam inside of it as well. And this just surrounds the microphone. And it's very effective if you have no treatment at all, I would highly recommend this being one of your first acoustic treatment purchases because you'll notice a big difference with your recordings in any microphone. Uh, you're gonna get a lot less echo and flutter and that's really the biggest problem with recording in an untreated space is it just sounds incredibly unprofessional. A lot of you have heard whenever you just sound like you're singing or rapping in a bathroom, 
Uh, this is the type of stuff that you need to treat those reflections first. All right, next up on the list, some of y'all are going to laugh at this one, but this is a moving blanket. And it's not just any moving blanket, but it actually has some uh, curtain rod uh, rings here all along the top of it. So what I use these for is I actually hang these over windows. So whether I'm in a space where, you know, I've lived in cities before where it's just not possible to have sound going outside of the window. And you also want to prevent a lot of the sound from coming in windows while you're recording. And these are really effective and they're very cheap. You can actually find moving blankets at Goodwill and you know different donation centers and just poke some holes in the top and then uh, stick some curtain rods in there, hang a curtain rod over some windows. And these are gonna be a really, really cost-effective option to keep sound from entering and exiting your project studios with a lot of windows. All right, y'all, so the last effective acoustic treatment option I have for you is an area rug or a carpet. If you have a hard reflective surface for your floor, this is definitely gonna be helpful in controlling a lot of the reflections that you get off of the walls and the ceilings. You know, for very few of you who record drums and you're trying to capture the room ambience, this might not be the best choice, but for the rest of us who just wanna have more of a dead, uh, flatter sound with less flutter, then this is gonna help tremendously, especially if you have a large area with this stuff, uh, you're gonna notice a big difference immediately. Now, luckily I have carpet on the other side of the room, but over here, I wanted to deaden those reflections because it was affecting the way that my monitors were actually being heard on the other side. So something to consider, you can pick these up at a consignment shop, very affordable, very effective. All right, y'all, so those are a couple recommendations for acoustic treatment options that are affordable and are gonna be effective for your project studio, your home studio. So whether you're a recording artist, recording in your space, you wanna reduce the echo, the flutter in the room and make it more professional sounding. Or if you're doing mixing, using a combination of these, you can drastically uh, make the frequency response of your room more accurate. For instance, if you've got a lot of bass buildup, like I talked about, you can put these bass traps in the corner and that's gonna make your uh, listening point more accurate in terms of how you're hearing bass. Also using the acoustic panels is going to change the broadband frequency response of your room as well. Makes a big difference and you can actually hear what's going on from your monitors versus just having this big wall of recurring echoes and problematic bass areas. Uh, it's a big, big, big time saver for those of you stepping out of the studio and having mixes that aren't translating. Check into a lot of the stuff we talked about. All right, y'all, so if you have any questions about acoustic treatment for your studio, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.